Hello, this is Chris with USGalaxyS3.com. What we're about to do is install the first ROM that we have on our AT&T Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this is called Diet ICS and it's by JD Beats on uh, XDA Developers. Uh, we'll put a link to that in the description. First of all, uh, we put it on our external SD, which you can be found under MNT slash EXT SD card. And we put in a folder called Z Update so that the folder will shift to the bottom uh, when we're in Clockwork Mod and it'll be easy to find. This is the 7.4.12 uh, release. It's uh, around 450 megabytes. He says, deep loaded like a beast. Alright, so pretty much I have my current configuration with this device rooted and a custom recovering installed. I pretty much have it set up exactly the way I want it. And now I'm going to shut off the device since I already have downloaded the ROM and put it in the correct place. Now I'm going to boot the device into our custom recovery. I'll just take the USB cord out because I'm not going to need it in there. I'm going to hold the home button, the volume up, and then power. Let go. You'll see that little blue text right there and then the Samsung logo. Make sure you let go uh, of the power button and everything else in time so that it doesn't try to reboot. If you think you've held it down for too long, let go of the power button and then hold the home and volume up again and you'll catch the next boot. So what I'm going to do is go down to backup and restore. I'm going to, you have the choice to back up or back up to an internal SD card. I'm just going to back it up to my external real quick. This will allow me to return to what I previously had. Good if I have an error or if I don't like the ROM, I'm able to come back uh, real quick and have a uh, working version of the phone. Please like these videos and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, in about a week, I'll be going away for uh, two months for military training. And when I come back, I'm going to try to get out of this really small apartment and get into something a little bit better where I'll have a, uh, a nice setup so I can actually uh, focus uh, on some work with uh, Android. Pretty much a novice right now just trying to make these uh, videos at your guys' requests. So if you have any specific requests, please leave them in the comments section below. Let me talk about a few of the things on this ROM. It's Diodex. Uh, it makes for easy theming uh, a later. Uh, zip Align, modded UI sounds, no boot sound. Choose between Nova Launcher and TouchWiz, so you got two launchers on this. Modded uh, power menu. On 626, he replaced the SMS app with AOKP SMS. Uh, screen does not turn on when receiving the message. Replace the music APK with Google Play Music app. Removed uh, more glow Google Talk, uh, clock widgets, slideshow, and the news live uh, wallpaper. On 7112, no boot loop stable version. Ditch the AT&T boot logo. Added new maps.apk from Jellybean. Added Jellybean playstore.apk. Fixed exchange. Added mod Beats Manager, mod from DSP Manager. On 7.4, said it was big thread. It also has a few uh, screenshots. The screen off, it looks like a, uh, a TV, a little cathode ray tube TV. Added a uh, clock package. Added back weatherwall.apk for weather lock screen. Uh, awesome blue ICS theme by Biz Daddy. Fixed cell standby, uh, misreading bug. Added the AccuWeather widget, cell standby bug fixed, no more Wi-Fi connection notice in the pull down bar. Alright, when you see generate an MD5 sum, this is the last part of the backup. Alright, so now that we have that backed up, we can see that right here in the backup, then restore. You can see that backup that we just made. When I get back into the operating system, I will change that name to something I recognize, like current version, so I can go back to it later if I need to. I also have a stock restore on my internal SD. That's the stock version with nothing on it. Alright, there was a notice on the thread that if you have some strange problems or get stuck at the Samsung screen to flash 7.1.12 first and then flash 7.4.12 with no wipe. We did have some strange behavior. There was a lot of missing uh, text. So what we did was we downloaded the 7.1.12. We're going to go ahead and go back and wipe 
factory reset. We are installing a completely new ROM. You should probably do that. If you're upgrading within uh, the same ROM, you might be able to get away without a wipe. And now we're going to flash install zip from SD card. The 7.1.12 zip. Alright, what we're going to do is boot the 7.1.12 version once. Okay, so you can see the text is fine in this version. I'm just going to blaze through the setup. We'll wait for the system to stabilize. So let's turn it off now and restart it into the recovery. You can see you have this restart method menu now. Install zip from SD card. Choose zip. 7412. Install. Notice I didn't wipe in between. Reboot the device. All right, let's see how things are working out for us now. Everything appears to be working well. You can see the shortcuts right there. Nice ICS blue theme. You can see a lot of the bloat has been taken out. Pretty streamlined. Awesome beach right there. And the AOKP version of the messaging app. Here's the little CRT animation. I do have a lot of my own apps installed right there. You notice this just stays in the apps, switch to the widgets, stays in the widgets. This will slide into the widgets and then back into the apps. So overall it looks like a very nice ROM. If you want to get away from the uh, stock look, get away from the bloatware, want awesome beats, you might want to check this out. The download link is available at the XDA developers thread in the description. This is just a hobby of mine, so please, again, like the videos and subscribe to the channel. I will be trying to pick up a T-Mobile version and a Verizon version so we can do more comparisons. Thank you.